So the difference on these shelves is I'm going to have to rebate for each shelf, whereas the other shelves were no marmoleum sides, just to mix it up a bit. So I've transferred the marks here from the back and the front, and I'm just going to set the table saw, cross cut, and do one at a time. So I'm just going to do a test fit, and this seemed to be the easiest way, one hand, one-handed, to achieve that. One of the problems with sheet goods as we all know, is that they're never quite straight. This unit not having any back so that we can see the wall has always been a challenge for stability until it's in position and getting things pulled square. Perfect. Very happy with that. And what I wanted to show you, I'll jump up here. Now the alignment for the dominoes and the rebate in here, as you can see here, is quite a tricky one when you're dealing with a domino handheld machine and a sliding table saw. So what I've chose to do, because I have to do a test fit before the glue up anyway, and one of the systems that I worked out to do is to do the rebate, construct the cabinets, and then on one side, when you've done the test fit, pop in a line, then do your two dominoes. Now, I'm only, there's gonna be more than two dominoes in the final build, probably four or five across here, probably four, but it's very difficult to align four dominoes if you're gonna go with a tight setting on all of them. So I start with uh, just two dominoes in each shelf, and I actually pop the line in off there, find the center, then domino it, after the test fit is in position, which means I'll be able to flip this over, glue up one side, and then put the other side on with the glue, then dominoes. That's a very simple system, but by having those rails, I mean, I have to support both ends of this unit, single-handedly is gonna make this glue up so much easier. So not an impossible job to do without a lift table, but for me, I've found that so useful. I'm gonna start working on something here so I don't need these clamps because the clamps are okay like this, but if you have the clamps um, on the inside, I found they get in the way of the other clamps. So what would be great is some kind of slot on 90 degree angle that bolts through here and then you could just push it tight and slot it and that would pull it in as well. So there's something to be said for that. That is a fantastic system using two sets of the rails on the, um, from the Rui range is just so cool for putting together large units. I mean, this single-handed, I've been able to put it up and down to clean, um, keep it square. It's absolutely rock solid. It's got no bracing at all and it is rock solid already. So just a simple process I've given it about 40 minutes with the clamps on and I'm just going to remove the clamps one at a time one set at a time and finish off the dominoes as I said before I found it much easier to domino to have the glue up um, or the test fit and then domino in position because lining up these um, the marmoleum which is which has got absolutely zero tolerance 
and the dominoes is, is just very difficult. So it's actually quite relaxing doing it this way. We know it's all set, square, and then these are just going to hold it in position. A little foot on it to help with stability. And I'll try and zoom in and show you. So we've got a, as I'm sure you know, if you work with the domino, there's a little groove here. That's where the center of the cut is. There's a little groove here and you can line that on this line. And then we're just gonna do a plunge straight down. I don't usually have it in England, but it's so hot today that the glue is just drying up in front of my eyes, which is a bit of a nightmare. It's a pretty slow process, but it, it does give really accurate joints. 